being able to see everybody at once is absolutely impossible. So if you can, if you can make yourself, you know, if, if, even if you just have like a circle of kids, right? Half of them in a circle, and then half of them in, inside, and the people on the outside have the ball, and they're just passing in, and I'm bouncing it back, and I'm locking my ankle, and I'm striking the mid part of the ball, I'm alternating my right and left foot, you know, balls are gonna puff up, people are gonna hit it off their toe, so you can kind of walk around, but what's exciting about that is they get to go see somebody else, right? They get to go check to somebody else. So you're, you're taking out the monotony, and that's one thing I think we have to be careful about with just pure technical training, that we, we're, we're creative enough to take out the monotony, and that's usually done by letting them go face and, and play with somebody else. Um, but I think, I, I think it, you know, you don't have to always stop the whole exercise, but as it's going on in that type of a group setting, you can go over and be like, this is what I actually needed you to just kind of lock your ankle, point your toe up, strike right here through the ball. So I think everybody can keep going, unless you just see everybody doing it wrong, then I'd stop the exercise and I'd demonstrate if the majority was doing it.